deck list out of date. <laughs> Thanks, man. There's Beardo. Hey, Beardo, how you doing? It's a very weird, weird priest deck. We have more two drops than we have four drops in our deck. It's like the least priestly of decks. Who's next? No weapon. Alright. Interesting. Probably just want an Iron Beak Owl. Can silence a, uh, a frothing, potentially. There's a frothing. So exactly why I took it. Hey, Jackal. Thank you much for the 11 month resub. Welcome back. 11 years, Pog Champ. It's a big board. That's scary. He's value trading, and I'm just going to coin out my Dragonfire Potion. Clear this board. Still pretty low, but I have quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of tools in my hand. Who goes thar? Who goes thar indeed? All right. Tap last. Okay. No tap. I think I want a Raza bef uh, if I hit this. What if he has Leroy plus Heroic Strike? He would have, what, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so not quite enough. It's the highest damage combination of two cards you can have. So I think I can play Raza this turn to squeeze in the extra hero powers, right? This guy makes every spell now basically gain two life, which is pretty great. Beardo's so sweet with this. Uh oh. Thankfully, still a lot of healing. Maybe not enough though. Just a if he does have that heroic strike plus Leroy of Dead. Actually, yes, he's one off. He has Heroic Strike. Exactly, that's Heroic Strike, Leroy. Alright. Yep, it's a lot of damage. Okay, so I can Beardo, Shield, so Beardo, heal myself, Powered Shield, heal myself, Refreshment Vendor. Fourteen, so now I am dead to Heroic Strike plus Leroy, but Beardo playing the the Semi priest of the feast roll there was pretty nice. My opponent had like a really aggressive draw, 
And Ardor was not be not perfect by any means, so hopefully he just has a hand of, of minions that don't charge, and we'll just manage to win. We have Kazakas to get a 5 mana potion, we have, we have 9 mana next turn. If we can find armor, it's great. Um, and no matter what, the, the potion gives us uh, another use of our hero power with Beardo. Alright, that's 10, so Heroic Strike kills me. Please don't have it. Wait, is he attacking a non-face object? All right, we're not dead. This is one of those cards that doesn't do anything at, the, at this point, which is great. If he trades, he can't win. So, there's just no way to win by trading. Eight, 12, 13, 15. Oh, Holy Nova is also fantastic. I will Kazakus first. Actually, I can, huh. Is it better to actually brand Kazakus and get two one mana spells? Because they have, they have the chance of being, yeah, two one mana is better. Because they can also give me armor. One mana. Gain four armor. And, uh... I don't know, none of these things matter, right? Sure. Second one. One mana. Freeze an enemy minion. Gain four armor. Oh my god, look at this. Actually, don't even want to attack it. Attack this. Get it. There we go. Oh man, <laughs> I was trying to figure that out. To actually, getting all those combinations and getting all the drags of the hero power in. He's out of mana. Uh, a life totally can't even mortal strike me. I didn't miss attacking. I intentionally wanted to leave him. A, a, a life totally couldn't mortal strike me. Um, and he's just gonna die next turn anyway. That was sick. Look at Beardo go. Beardo like. Whew. Beardo is giving me such insane, insane value in some of these games. And yes, for those who are like, where did Bran come from? I cut the loot hoarder in the deck for Bran and didn't change the deck list. I was at 4 life going into this turn, by the way. Now I'm at 18. <laughs> Beardo down. I kind of want to just rub some salt in the wound here by playing my Reno, but we'll just hold it over him. <laughs> Whew. That was sweet. I didn't even need the Reno. You know, not playing the Reno there proves I don't need the Reno. I can win games without Reno against the Pirate Warrior. And his draw was very aggressive, too.